Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick review on the Your Best Year 2018 by Lisa Jacobs book. I received this um, when I subscribed to the Boho Berry um, subscription box. So she sent this out to her new subscribers in December. Um, so anyway, just wanted to, I got it yesterday. I've kind of thumbed through it, read the first introduction or so, and just wanted to kind of share it with you guys. Um, of course, the tale of contents. And if I remember correctly, Boho Berry partnered with Lisa Jacobs or affiliated with her for a little while. Maybe still is. I'm not sure. But she does this one, which is just like a life book. And then she has a business book. This is, like I said, the life book. So she has the introduction on how to use the book. Basically, kind of, you know, set your goals. What, you know, you go through and you figure out what you need what worked, what didn't work for last year, and, and kind of figure out what you need to do to get where you need to be, or where you want to be, rather. So, you know, it's, you know, you want a planner draw, uh, for your, your to-dos, and your monthly, weekly, daily, whatnot. A drawing pad, so you can just kind of draw out and brainstorm. Alone time, which I thought this was really funny. She has four kids, and she gets, what did it say, like four days all by herself in solitude with gentle, calm, and sober time yeah I don't know how she does it I have one kid who you probably hear running around the house with snacks and dogs chasing him around and even when my husband does watch him I hear them and I can't concentrate and I can't just shut the door and like be because I don't know so even the whole one to two hour blocking it off like she mentions if you can't get the whole day can't get four whole days get a couple hours at a time yeah mm, I'm lucky if I can get 30 minutes to clean in peace that's really not even in peace. But anywho, to each is their own. This, the quiet time probably won't ever happen in my life anymore unless I take my son to my mom's house or something. My mother-in-law's house. Or I just run away. Always a possibility. But anyway, um, space to spread out your comfort items to keep you comfortable while you're doing this. And obviously pen and paper. So she kind of goes through the different layouts. Oh, there we go and you know just the process that you're gonna do um kind of skim this to tell you the truth there's just a lot of copy dude there's so much freaking copy i really want to read it and i but i skimmed it you know i got the gist i wanted to see this stuff you know you start off what decisions have you been him hawing about chasing on and on for absolutely no reason. How are you holding yourself back? And first steps or call or consultation you can make towards completing your goal. I think this is pretty cool. Which is really funny is I had making my own planner for 2018 for goals. So a lot of this stuff is actually going to be in that. So what I will end up doing is using some of this stuff from this book. I'm not going to write in the book. I'm just not a write in the book kind of person. But I'll end up using some of these things and incorporating them into that goals planner that I'm creating that I will write in, obviously. So this is one of the first, like, real, well, the second, I guess, real activity. And it's, what are your memories of 2017? Was your time spent well? Was your money spent well? Did you accomplish your goals? And did you make any progress on your big goals? And so she gives some examples, I guess. I don't, I assume some of these are hers. But I don't know if they're all hers. Or if they're just examples generalized. I don't know. But they're really good ones. Some of them are, you know. First year in our home are favorite memories. And lost 10 pounds was completed. House cleaning was money well spent. Because she does go through in the beginning how she hired a housekeeper. So, wouldn't that be nice? Anyway, uh, that is a goal. Become debt free. And I plan on chiseling away at it in 2018. Which is part of my mini goals. My monthly, quarterly, weekly goals that I've got broken down how I'm going to save money and pay off debt and all that fun stuff. Um, anyway, so she goes through these and she has, here's your working page, here's your example page. Again, so a lot of these, this one, a lot of these would be great if you were monitoring it, like from the beginning, like my kid's chasing the dog underneath his high chair. Please excuse him. Um, but some, what say, some of these were like would be really good if you were monitoring it from a previous year. Like I feel hard. I feel like it's going to be hard for me to be like, what did I do in 2017 for goals that I didn't have in 2017? 
yeah, I didn't have any, so I can't really talk about did I accomplish them because I didn't, you know? You know, of course I got some challenges. I had a kid the end of 2015, so my challenge of 2017 was, I'm sorry, 2016. I'll remember it one day. And then 2017, I had to raise that kid. Of course, with my husband's help, but, you know, that's a challenge. But I didn't really have any goals last year, so I'm starting from scratch. I'm not really going to be able to, I don't think I'm going to be able to truly compare what did I do in 2017. Because I don't have anything to compare it to. Anyway, all beside the point. So that's all these, you know, activities. And here's some time management. And some more copy and stuff and explanations I guess so you know that's all the book is it's here's I, I guess eventually you run out of examples no here's some more examples like I'm not saying it's gonna be easy because obviously when you set big goals big goals are not easy to accomplish and I'm hoping that as I go through this as I incorporate this in my goals planner that I'm working on for 2018 which I will eventually share once I have it completed which I'm getting there um, I don't have a lot of time left to complete it because, you know, it is mid-December. Sorry, my kid's acting crazy. Anyway, um, but I hope this helps. You know, here's some areas of your life. Finance, spiritual, mental, physical, relational. Not all of those apply to everybody. But you pick what applies to you. And, you know, you kind of go from there. But this would be a great book. Oh, look, it's even broken out February. So which I assumed eventually it would be broken out by month. Here's your month. And it really is for 2018. So if you use this, you're using this book for 2018. There is no like undatedness. Scoreboards, that's pretty cool. I may incorporate this into my book. Notebook. Those are the four weeks of the month. Pretty cool. I do plan on incorporating some of this. Um, and it is per month couple pages annual strategy so anyway like you can see there's a lot of stuff and this could totally help that's assuming you stick with it like this is something you gotta like take a lot of time and energy to complete like dude it's freaking hard so anyway I'm really hoping I can use some of the tips in this book some of the techniques some of the work uh, not workshop but some of the activities I can incorporate it in my own life. So anyway, I'm pretty excited. Um, this did come, you know, with the Boho Berry Box, but you can purchase it separately. I can try to find the link. I don't honestly know what it is, but I can look for the link and kind of link it below. I realize this is not the normal video of reviews or, or, or unboxing that I normally do, but I just thought this was pretty cool. Um, I just wanted to share it. I do have some unboxings for some boxes obviously the boho berry box and, and the tombow box i subscribe to um so those will be upcoming in the next couple of weeks hopefully um so anyway until next time see you later oh wait wait i forgot i always have trouble with this if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button if you want to see more please subscribe leave a comment if you have any questions and here we go till next time see you later bye